Hello and welcome to my channel Learn UX ID. Here we are going to learn about user experience design, UI design and of course Figma. So let's start this. Um, and today we are going to learn about Figma variables. So let's try to uh, go to the design. Okay, so I was unable to find the uh, local variables. So here we have some of the variables. So I am going to delete some of them. Okay, so uh, how we are going to use a string variable string 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 is actually uh, some characters combined together maybe two or three words uh, so we are going to create string uh, variable like you can see over here I clicked on create variable string and here we have two strings let's call it btn small btn uh, cta Okay, so this will be CTA label. Uh, let's we, we call it get started now. Okay, and here we have another button which is let's say call button, BTN call. So let's um, contact us. Okay, so here we have two buttons. I'm going to press shift and uh, select both of them. Right click and create a new group. And here we have a new group and we are going to call this um, button labels. Okay. Okay. Now, um, or, or, or we can call it rather than button labels, we can call it button text, something like that. I think labels would be more appropriate. Okay. Now. Okay, so here we have this button, any button you can select it and you can see that this button is actually a text layer inside and that is actually using auto layout. So um, whenever you select any text, whether it's a button or anything, you can go over here in the text settings and you can see there is a small icon says apply variable. Select that and you will have all the variables, local variables. So I'm going to select this button CTA and also for this one uh, control click or con command click to go to the text layer and btn call let's select this and i'm going to select btn cta let's select this and i'm going to select cta okay so here we have uh, all the buttons and now the benefit is that if i change the variable if I change the value of these button labels, maybe our team decides that we should uh, use um, let's get, uh, let's start learning, something like that. So it can instantly change everything wherever I have used that string value or my text is linked to that string. So this is a nice way of, you know, updating a lot of layers simultaneously. This is one use case. And there are other use cases which you can do uh, in Figma's um, uh, professional version if you have purchased Figma license, which is you can change the value of these on click and prototyping. So that is a bit advanced setting with variables and all that stuff. I will explain it in another lesson. Right now, the use case of text or updating text is for me is that I want to change all the labels or button labels of the whole design like maybe I have um, 10 different pages blog page all those different pages I want to change the text layer call us to contact us so how we would uh, I would do that so this is the easiest way I can apply variable to it string variable and I can updo, update that string variable value in my variables anytime I would like and it will update everything okay so let's have a chat okay so you can see this button has been changed so this is how you are going to use string uh, in Figma's variables okay so I hope that you have understood how to use string variables don't try to confuse with them uh, this is I think a very good use case I'm not sure how other designers are using. If you are using it in some other way, do let me know in the comment section below.
So I hope you have learned something new in this lesson. I will meet you in another video and we will learn something more. Let's move on. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.